Hey there guys, this is Chief Meteorologist Ben Pine in the WHS 11 News First Alert Storm Team uh, Weather Center here on this September the 27th, 2022. And I want to give you an update on uh, Hurricane Ian, uh, now a major Category 3 hurricane. And uh, it's kind of an interesting shift in the forecast track for the National Hurricane Center from what we had yesterday to today. So yesterday, Tampa uh, was right in the line of sight, and now it looks like it's a, a little more of a shift to the south with the latest update. With that said, we still have Tampa, we still have other areas in west central Florida in that cone of uncertainty that you'll see on this track. What's also different, we just had satellite to look at yesterday as the storm was heading towards Cuba. It has crossed over the Cuba nation and is now over the open waters of the Gulf of Mexico. So that has allowed the storm to strengthen. And it is also now within the radar network. So we are now using radar and satellite. And you can see that well-defined eye uh, off to the southwest of the southwestern areas of Florida. So right now it is 255 miles south of Sarasota, Florida, with maximum sustained winds at around 120 miles per hour, moving north at 10. And on that track, here we go into the future. You can see the clock in your upper right-hand corner there. There's landfall, and that's going to be uh, late tomorrow night, it looks like, uh, possibly still as a major Category 3 hurricane. Um, if it does land south of Tampa, that would certainly be better news for the Tampa area as it, it would take water away from the Tampa Bay. Um, probably worse news, uh, obviously, for Fort Myers, uh, Punta Gorda, Venice Beach, all those, those areas south of Tampa, really going to have to watch out uh, for all the hazards that come with a major hurricane, Category 3. You've got storm surge, you've got uh, destructive winds, embedded tornadoes, and flooding. And the storm is slowing down. So this is tomorrow night, right? And then watch kind of how slowly it moves into Friday morning over the peninsula, peninsula of Florida, weakening rapidly as it does make landfall. So right there is 7 o'clock Friday morning, and then finishing up as an area of low pressure over the southeastern United States, over uh, parts of Georgia and South Carolina. Kind of the leftover tropical storm there as it weakens over Augusta, Georgia and then finishing off as just an area of low pressure over the Appalachians. With that said, it could come close enough to give us a few rain showers this weekend. At this time, we're not expecting any severe weather and no flooding from this either. So there's Saturday afternoon. I think we could probably get through a good chunk of the day Saturday dry, um, but it does look like a chance for at least a couple rain showers. The air at the surface is still really dry for us, very low humidity. So. Still big question mark on the eventual track of the remnants of Ian and, and how much rain we will or will not see. Uh, the GFS drier solution, the European weather model is still a bit wetter. Um, so this is the European weather model showing uh, a pretty sharp cutoff in the rain amounts. East of I-65, better chance. West of I-65, a lower chance of uh, that rainfall here locally. It looks like eastern Kentucky has a, a better chance of me around one to two inches. Uh, I know, of course, they had that recent flooding. We don't want to see any flooding there. Um, still low concern of flooding overall in Kentucky over that two-day period. Now, this is kind of a co compare and contrast of the GFS weather model on the left, the Euro on the right. There you can see the Euro brings more of the rain towards Louisville, and the GFS keeps more of it off to the southeast. Um, so we'll, we'll kind of wait and see what happens. Uh, we may end up with a drier solution where more of the weekend is dry. Hopefully that's good news for the St. James Court Art Fair and uh, Bowman Fest or whatever outdoor activities uh, you might have planned for this weekend. Hopefully we end up with that drier solution, but still a chance uh, for some spotty showers here locally. And of course, uh, we're going to have a lot of updates uh, every weathercast uh, between now and landfall and beyond that uh, with uh, Hurricane Ian and the remnants of Ian day by day uh, throughout the week on uh, all of our newscasts on WHS 11. More updates on WHS11.com as well. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, have a great rest of your day.